Hi, so today I'm going to talk about asthma. So asthma is a chronic disease involving the airways in the lungs. These airways or bronchial tubes allow for air to come in and out through the lungs. I have asthma. I have since I was uh, two years old and it's definitely gotten better as I've grown up, but I definitely had it really bad when I was a child. Um, if you have asthma, your airways are always inflamed. They become even more swollen and the muscles around the airways can tighten when something triggers your symptoms. This makes it difficult for air to move in and out of the lungs, causing symptoms such as coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and or chest tightness. For many asthma sufferers, timing of these symptoms is closely related to physical activity. For me, that was definitely true. I never could run in PE and that was because I had asthma. Um, and I would take my rescue inhaler to school. Um, and some otherwise healthy people can develop asthma symptoms only when exercising. This is called exercise-induced asthma or exercise-induced um, bronchial stricture. Um, staying active is an important way to stay healthy, so asthma shouldn't keep you from the sidelines, which is also true. Um, you just have to modify the types of workouts that you do. Maybe not so heavy cardio and a lot of weightlifting can really affect the way the asthma affects you. Um, so people typically get asthma if they've had a family history of allergies and asthma. Allergies and asthma pretty much go hand in hand. Most people on the planet have allergies, um, but not all of them have asthma. So it goes hand in hand for me. Allergies really trigger my asthma. Um, I'm really allergic to dogs. So every time I'm around a dog, I get asthma. So um, yeah, so different asthma can also be really, really affected by for me, it was smoke, too, if people were smoking around me, that um, really triggered it as well. So dust, gases, fumes, that can also go for it. Um, childhood asthma impacts millions and millions of kids at this point, and um, it's something that most people grow out of, but it is something that definitely needs to be treated because you could die from your bronchial tubes closing in. So um, a child with asthma needs to have a full plan of what they're going to do if they have an asthma attack. Uh, there's no cure for asthma, but it's, if it's properly diagnosed, then you're good to go. You just take your medication and you can live a full life and everything. Um, it is diagnosed by an allergist or immunologist. And yeah, that's um, how it is treated and found out about um but for me it will probably go away as my doctor said when i hit probably 25 since i've had it since i was a kid um but yeah i used to take um a treat what i used to call a treatment but it was a breathing treatment and there was a little mask and it would go over my face and i'd wear that for like 20 30 minutes and I typically have to take those every single day when I was a child. Um, and that affected my teeth. And I had to get veneers on my forefront teeth because of it. Because those are really harsh on your teeth and it like kind of sits there. Especially when you're a kid. It's like not brushing your teeth. Um, along with doing that treatment. Um, and then you have an inhaler. And um, I had a long-term corticosteroid, which was just like a like inhaler thing that I took every single day as well so um yeah but the steroids are something that some people can't tolerate and it's also not very good for you to be taking steroids all the time so uh, taking your inhaler lots of times throughout the day is really 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 can be harmful um people with COPD also um kind of go hand in hand with asthma as well because it kind of similar symptoms and similar treatments um People can also get asthma later in life, and uh, it can be due to a lot of different factors. And um, yeah, it's different in every person, and most people grow out of it, um, or most people grow into it. It kind of depends on how your body reacts to things. It also can change. Um, when I moved to Colorado from Arizona, I uh, lost a lot of my symptoms. I am not allergic to a lot of things here, as I was in Arizona. It was very dusty there, so. I'd have a lot more asthma attacks than I do whenever I come to Colorado. So um, a change in terms of moving can also help the effects of asthma as well.